Did you know last year there were over 19,000 people that got sick on airplanes? And there were 400 airplanes that were diverted because of medical crises. And there were 90 people who died on airplanes. I know because I travel a lot. And it's almost every other time that I travel that someone needs assistance from a physician and I'm there to give it to them. Let me give you a few tips to travel when you're to be safe when you're on a plane. Number one, if you're traveling, make sure you drink plenty of water. Most of these patients that I have encountered are simply dehydrated. They've been at an airport, they've been running back and forth, and they haven't had enough water. So drink a lot of water. Number two, if you're sick, don't get on a plane. Not only do I not want to get your illness, but none of the other passengers do either. It's okay to wait a couple of days, and if you're sick and on a plane, it's only going to get worse. Number three, get up and walk a lot on the plane. Don't sit down and just go to sleep. Get up and walk. One of the things that can kill people is called a deep vein thrombosis, where it's a blood clot in your leg, and it happens because you're not getting up and moving around a lot. If you drink a lot of water, that'll solve part of that problem. Finally, if you do have medications and allergies to medications that are important, think about getting a band, a wrist brand that contains all of that information, or a card that you carry in your pocket. Finally, if you're a patient that may need medications periodically, like someone with asthma who might need an inhaler, or someone with heart disease that might need nitroglycerin, carry it with you in your pocket. It's important, because chances are on the airplane, we won't have that medicine for you. So, be prepared when you fly. I'm Dr. Terry Simpson, and that's your doctor's orders. See more on yourdoctorsorders.com.